Hey guys, today we will talk about a card. I'm currently looking at the commander version of the card, but whenever a commander version of the card spikes, it normally leads to good things for the regular version, which is still sitting at 76 cents. It's gone up a tiny bit. Uh, the low on this card was actually 28 cents, and that was December 7th. So about two months ago, the card hit its all time low. However, as you can see from the graph, it just never, it was always kind of a 28 cent card. Now, why is this card good? I'm gonna read you the card. Uh, and it's very good. Four in a white enchantment. Creatures can't attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pays X for each of those creatures where X is the number of enchantments you control. So very good. In original RTR, or in RTR, original RTR, <laughs> uh, RTR, uh, you would have a deck that played multiples of these and they would just stack, uh, which is kind of fun. But in EDH, you have Propaganda, you have Ghostly Prison, you have other cards that do the same effect that are enchantments. It's very good in that format. Uh, it's very, very good in Commander EDH. Overall, it's worth looking into because it's from RTR, meaning that there's so much of it available. And that's probably why the Commander version has spiked before the RTR version, although the RTR version is older. And theoretically, because it's older, it should be more valuable, but there's more limited supply on the Commander 2016, as funny as that would seem. So it's very good. Uh, it's unique in that it prevents people from attacking your planeswalkers. So that is the core selling point for me. It does cost twice, almost twice as much as Propaganda or Ghostly Prison. Uh, so that is kind of an issue in other formats. But in EDH, where cost is secondary, when people are playing Soul Rings out and Mana Crypts, and, you know, it's like, you know, whatever, you just get, get the white. The other four doesn't really matter as much. Overall, a fantastic card to make your opponents not want to attack you and attack other people. And that's what you want to do in ED8, especially the more people in the game, the better this effect becomes because it affects each and every one of them in a way that protects you. So overall, a very good card, maybe worth considering the RTR version for a long-term hold, not something that I would recommend picking up right now. But we will see what happens to the price. It is a very good uncommon in a widely printed set. Typically, you need to wait five, seven, maybe even 10 years before the set kind of runs dry. But when with boxes of RTR still sitting pretty at $80, I can't, I can't imagine this going too much higher. Anyway, bye guys.